Hi everyone, I'm sharing a tutorial on how to use the URL API source in OBS. Start by downloading the plugin from the plugin page here on the OBS forums. Just go on here and this will open up the GitHub releases page where you can find an installer for your operating system, Mac OS, Windows or Linux. Install that and then OBS will have an option to add a new source, which is called the URL source. I already have set up a few of these here as an example. This one, for example, will get the price of Bitcoin in US dollars and it is continuously updating. So let's see how it works. When I go on the options for this new source, I see the URL where the request is coming from, but the URL is grayed out. To set up the request to get this information, we use the setup request button, which opens up a dialog where you can put in the URL to fetch and some information about the HTTP request, like is it a GET or a POST request. You can add headers, a body if that's needed, as well as how to parse the output. Once you set everything up or while you're setting everything up, you can use the test request button to run the request and give you the raw output as well as the parsed output. In the raw output here, I can get the JSON structure and from it, I can understand what path within this JSON I would like to extract the information from. So I have here BPI and then USD and within USD I have rate and this is the information that I'm trying to extract. So I would use the JSON pointer path to point to BPI, USD, and then rate. And then when I run the request, the parsed output is going to be what I was looking for. I can save that. And this would now um, be taken up as the output for this source. I can set up an update timer uh, to update this in milliseconds, once a second, two seconds, you can go as low as 100 milliseconds. I can set some styling here with CSS, like setting this output to be in red. I can also change the, uh, the background from transparent to something else. And if I would change the font size, this would make the rendering of the text be more higher resolution, like 96, for example. You can see that the, uh, the font is higher resolution, but really this depends on your needs. The last thing we could do here is set up the output template. So whatever we have in the curly brackets output, this will be replaced with the output from your HTTP API request but the rest of it can be used as a template to give more styling or maybe a prefix or a postfix for this output. In here I added BTC, I added some italics, and then the outputs with a bold face. You can use any HTML tags within reason to use in this output template along with the CSS properties, you can get it to look in pretty much any way that you desire. I've set up a few of these here just as an example. This one would just get this very simple information out of this API here, getting the facts about cats. Um, it's a very simple JSON output with some styling. This, for example, would be a XML request 
where we're using the XML parsing option. And we can see this is the output of the API and we can set up the XPath to extract information from there and the rest works the same exact way. This is very quickly how to use the URL source API. Enjoy and please send any feedback when you get it. Thank you very much.